Alright guys, it's your boy DeAnthony from Break Room Blitz and I'm coming with you with another review. So I just got through watching Star Episode 2. So you guys know I did the, the pilot episode. Looked like it was gonna, might be a good show, I wasn't really sure. Uh, so I definitely wanted to catch it when, you know, the second episode came out. Uh, so it just came out yesterday, or let me say on the 4th. It might not, it might not be yesterday because I don't know when I'm going to put this out. But... It did come out on January 4th, you know, the second episode, so I wanted to see it. Um, so I'm a little late, but I want to talk about what I thought about the show. Um, you got to excuse my shirts. It was wash day, so I like to air dry my shirts. So, uh, yeah, that's why they're there. Okay, so let's just get right into it. They fast, ain't they? They're some little fast-ass girls. We got the... Dark, dark skin chick all up in the dude bed. We got Star. She blowing kisses to everybody. She uh screwing uh fathers and stuff. I'm like, yo, Star, I'm gonna need you to calm down. You doing way too much. Like I get it, you grew up harsh, but dang, you gotta screw every man on the show. You gonna screw you gonna screw the the manager, you gonna screw the uh Football player, you gonna screw the daddy? Like, dang, can you relax? Golly. Now, I got a quick prediction. It might not be this episode, but I think in this series, one of them girls gonna get pregnant. And that's gonna be a reason why they don't get to, to reach the goals they're trying to reach. Because somebody gonna get pregnant. I'm gonna call it, I think it's a dark skinned chick that's gonna get uh, pregnant, but that's just me. Just quick prediction. Yo. Did you see how Queen Latifah knocked the hell out that dude? Like, can we do this? Ma! And I was like, dude, you don't never need to get here like that, bro. Bro, you can't like duck. You don't, you don't know how to duck a little bit, block. Like, ah, wax on, wax off, something. Something, man. Because you can't be getting hit like that. Now, though I do not condone, I don't think anyone should be hitting anyone. I think that if it's a double standard to where if... A woman can hit a man, it's all good, but if a man hit a woman, that's a bad thing. I think it should be a bad thing either way, but it was kind of funny, though, to see him get hit in the face. I'm just saying, you need to, ah, 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 got you, ah, almost got me, nope, something. Just saying, just saying, learn how to box a little. Then we got Jody, little Jody. <laughs> Every time I see Tyrese, I'm sorry, he's just Jody from baby boy when he talk he talking the same way i don't know I just, I just see baby boy talking i don't know so jody little jody you want something from the stove <laughs> that's, that's like my favorite movie so i just that's what i see so we got tyrese so he's supposed to be like some minister or something he got a little collar on his neck i don't know if he's a head pastor or if he's just a minister I don't know what's going on with that, uh, but Tyrese is in the show. Apparently, him and Queen Latifah, they didn't got, or they had a past to where they had a kid. So, I'm guessing one of the gay kids is his kid or something. I don't really know what's going on with that. So I'm like, so you do, you were in his life or, or what? I don't understand where you come in at. But he's in it. Um, briefly, but he's in it. So, like Tyrese, check it out. So, like I said, Star is screwing everybody so the dark skinned chick I'm gonna really learn her name this is like the second episode I haven't learned it yet I apologize but the dark skinned chick uh, which to me is the cutest one but I'm just saying um, <clears throat> she has this little vision where they all dancing in the, the shop or whatnot and then all of a sudden she wakes up and her mom and dad are like, get your ass up off the floor. What are you doing? I don't know what was happening there. I don't know if she was dancing by herself and uh, she just ended up on the floor somehow. And everyone else is looking at her like, what the hell is happening right now? But somehow she woke up from her little dream or fantasy and her dad and her mom was standing right above her. Uh, it's significant because she ends up lying about her uh, mom being dead and all of a sudden her mom's there. So it's a whole big old thing. Um, her and Star get into it. Now, I remember Star name because it's Star. It's an easy name, Star. So, uh, I'm going to get everyone's name, though. So, 
Star finds out that her mom's alive and all this stuff, and she's like, "Yo, dad is so and so the uh, rock star. Like, how come you don't get him to get us uh, get us a deal? We've been hustling all this time, and you up here playing. You up here playing with the rich ass dad, yo. Like, so Star goes to try to talk to the dad, and she got her lollipop in her mouth. She popping it in and out, and she like, "Yo, we should go ahead and get a body here." Cause people people watching us so she walked back to to i guess the room or something in her little boy shorts and dad's like uh shoot i i mean i ain't trying to but uh she throwing it yo so uh i'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and go follow her so she's in a bubble bath he's on a bed chilling i'm thinking they didn't already got it in she getting cleaned up Obviously, she needed to get cleaned up before she went to this room. I don't, I don't understand that. Like, you should have took a shower before you went to go see him. But anyway, uh, that's just my thing, my personal hygiene. I'm not really sure what's going on with these ladies and not taking showers before they come over men's house. But anyway, so the mom walk in like, yo, what the hell? I'm just calling Lenny Kravitz because that's his name. I don't know what his name is in the show, but she like, Lenny. What the hell? What the hell, Lenny? What the hell is going on? She see the girl in the bath. She see Lenny on the bed. And she just goes off and, and Lenny is like... That he don't give a damn. And the, and star up in the damn uh, bath. She don't give a... She don't just lift it up her leg like, yeah, I'm here. What? What? I can't lift up my leg, so that's, my, that's me lifting up my leg. She like, yeah, I'm in the bath. What? I'm like, what is happening? No one gives a damn that this lady didn't caught y'all? Or she didn't really catch y'all, she just saw y'all. Because y'all don't give a damn that she there. So then she just storm out and I'm like, what is happening right now? What relationship is this? Who are these people who don't give a damn that the mother walks in? That the, that the wife walks in? Who don't? I mean, sorry, you act like you, act like you didn't know this lady for forever. You just met her. You don't give a shit? Wow. Wow, Star. Wow. <sighs> so, the manager, he's trying to collect some money for this gig for them. And he goes to the club to ask his, the oldest lady on TV. I, I mean, like, physically. Not like her age. She probably like 50. But her face looks so jacked. I'm like, bro, who is this lady? She's all leaning back like, you want some money? You want some money from me? I'm like, hell no, I don't want no money from you. Uh, ain't, ain't nobody else you can ask, bro? Like, you at the club. Like, you ain't know no, like, strippers that's balling or nothing. What is happening? So then the lady make him kiss her. I'm like, oh, you better not kiss that lady. So you know, he tried to be slick with it and kiss her on the cheek. She like, what kind of kiss is that? Kiss me on the lips. I'm like, oh, mm -mm. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Cause like her neck is like, ah, oh, I don't know. It's like, mm. and it's like wrinkly, like wrinkled in the mug. Like, yo, what is happening here? This lady, how'd you even get this gig? Who do you know that that puts you on the camera? Because there's no way you actually auditioned for this part. And they was like, you know what? We need the ugliest old lady in the world. Come on. No way. So, I'm sorry. I'm just rambling a little bit. But this show is crazy. What is happening here? All right. So, something that actually mattered in the show was uh, Derek, the, the young man that um, the Darcy and chick, I don't know her name, <laughs> is dating. I know Derek because that's my real name. So, <laughs> so, I just, it's easy for me to remember that too. But anyway. Um, so Derek, he ends up saying like, you know, he, his dad was a cop, he admires cops, and he was taught to raise, he was raised to think that cops were there to protect him, and I was like, dang, cause that's what I was taught too, but as a black man in America, um, honestly, I don't ever want to call the cops, ever, never, never, um, honestly, I just don't, I, I just wouldn't want to call them. I don't know what's gonna happen, you know. So, I I got that part for sure. That that was pretty much the only meaningful thing in the whole show. 
So, Star and the dark skin chick get into this little, you know, argument because uh, she finds out that Star tried to uh, have sex with her dad, and she's like, "Yo, what the hell? You thirsty? You a hoe? Get out of my face!" And she's pretty much just telling her like, "Yo, I'm done with this group." So they kind of break up a little bit. When they come back though, they come back together. For some reason, uh, she just forgives her for trying to have sex with her dad. I'm not, I can't really tell you what happened there. It came back from commercial, and then she was staying. So I'm just saying, I don't know what happened with that. But, so she comes back, and Star come out the bathroom, yo. And the girl was like, ugh. Ugh, you stank. And I'm like, <laughs> and they pan back to Star, and she'll never shut the door. I'm like, bro. You gonna you you doing uh, number two? You dumping loads and you ain't gonna shut the door? She just said it stink, man. Shut the damn door. I don't know what's going on with these females in this hygiene. I can't really say. You know, maybe it's just for the show. Uh, but that's really bothered me a little bit. I had to. I just had to throw that in there. So then, sister sings in the choir. The sister goes to church with Queen Latifah and. Uh, she passes out, she took some alcohol and some pills because she's having issues with uh, her sister stabbing that dude in the back like 15 times. She don't know that he lives somehow because people just always live with uh, 8 inch knives being stabbed in their back multiple times. But anyway, uh, so she passes out and they kind of end on that cliffhanger on the episode. and then But then they cut to the scene where... Dude is a okay. I don't know how long they've been at this lady's house, but uh, the father, the stepfather that tried to rape her little sister, he's a okay. He's not like limping. He's not like ah. Oh, he not. He a okay. He walked up to the uh, uh, social worker and was like, "Where's my daughter?" I'm like, "Bro, what? You don't got no daughter, bro. Just leave that alone. Leave it alone." You tried to molest her or rape her. You got stabbed by her sister. It's even. Let that go. You know, you got to let that go. Uh, now you trying to tell me where my daughter at? Like, bro, you want to end up in jail or dead or at least stab again. You might not die because it's TV, uh, but at least stab again, right? But anyway, it ends on that and, you know, I'm like, hmm. Kind of a cool cliffhanger, not really, uh, I don't know how I felt about that episode. It was a lot going on. It was kind of funny, um, mostly because I just think certain things are funny, not because it was funny um, or it was comedic. It's just, what is happening on this show? Like, who are these people that just don't give a damn about nothing? They just, no morals, no values, just, I'm going to just take a bubble bath with my legs up and uh, you're just going to take it. If anything, you don't know if the lady about to come choke your ass out in the bath. You need to at least get up and get out. Like, you just chilling like, yeah. That's that's my leg right there. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know about that, but hey. I didn't write the show. This ain't my show. This is Fox. Um, same dude that, uh, it's produced by the same dude that wrote Empire. So, he kind of liked that. That's like his little style. Uh, so this is a new show, but honestly, I don't know how, like, it was cool. I mean, it wasn't boring, but it wasn't, like, impactful like I wanted it to be. But, hey, it's episode two, and it's Fox 11. I can't expect it to be like it's HBO. So, um, it's cool. It's a cool show. I think it really uh, appeals to women. I think it, it has a really uh, a feminine side to it. It's a lot of homosexual. Well, it's not a lot of homosexuality, but it's some homosexual moments that... I don't really think that real dudes would watch this. And honestly, if I had something else to watch and something else to review, I would probably be doing that. But this is a new show that came out. That came out this year. I'm really waiting on the Carmichael's to come out in March. Um, so this is what I'll be doing until then, I guess. Unless it just gets becomes boring and I don't want to see it. But I do think it's more like for women. Um, so, you know, it's up to you guys if you want to watch it. I would say at least check it out. You know, it does have some of your one of you, some of your favorite uh, celebrities in there. Um, so I think you women will probably enjoy it. Dudes probably not so much. Um, but hey, I review stuff, so this is what I do. So all right, guys, I'm the Anthony Break Room Blitz. Check out our other stuff. Check out our other uh, movie reviews. Um, we do movie reviews. We do show reviews. Uh, we also do uh, we call it toy boxing. 
Um, so when we review, you know, toys and gadgets and things like that. So if you guys like that type of stuff, let us know. All right, guys. So question of the day. Do you think that Star has, you know, some type of legitimate reason to want to, you know, sleep with her dad or do whatever she got to do to get stuff done? I think it's kind of hoish, but hey, maybe, you know, when you ain't got nothing, you can grow up with nothing. That's what you got and that's what you do. But let me know what you guys think. Is she justified in her actions or does she kind of need to step back? Like, that's kind of off limits. You can't be screwing your friend dad. Like, that's a little, I don't know. That's just me, though. I'm like, ah, maybe the manager, maybe the football player, but the dad, I don't know. So let me let me know, guys. All right, I'm your boy, DeAnthony um, from Break Room Blitz. I'm out. Peace.